Hi, it's Gwen. Today I am bringing you another tag. I'm doing the Batman book tag that was created by Logan at Logan Mathis and I was tagged by Aubriette through the reading glass. Um, she's easily become one of the people that I watch their videos all the time. I feel like her and I could be friends. So yay Aubrey, thanks for tagging me for this video. Like Aubrey, I don't really know that much about Batman. Um, I've watched the movies when my granddad was still alive he would take my sister and I to go see the movies and the first one that I ever saw with him I don't remember the name of the movie um, so he took us to go see the one with the penguin and Catwoman and like Aubrey I loved Catwoman okay so let's get on to the questions question number one a novel with a character who is an orphan or lost his parents or her parents so yeah um, the book that I'm gonna pick for this is Anne of Green Gables I have not read this book but um, when I was younger I did watch all of the movies so Anne of Green Gables is my pick for the orphan um, the book was written by a Canadian author Lucy Maud Montgomery and it follows um, Anne, who is an 11 year old orphan, and she's mistakenly sent to live with a brother and sister who own a farm. The um, brother and sister were hoping to adopt a boy to help them on the farm, but they end up getting Anne. And it's just kind of like Anne finding her way, you know, to live with the family that adopted her, to meet people in town, and, you know, get along in school and stuff like that. So I really did love the movies and maybe one day I'll go back and read the books. I really think I would enjoy them. Question number two. A novel with a character who has a huge fear or ha has to overcome a fear and for that I chose um, Triss in Divergent by Veronica Roth. I chose this one because not only does Triss have to overcome her fear of leaving her family to find her own path, but obviously they have that whole fear scape. So, Triss. Question number three, a novel where the character is a good fighter, rich, or genius. For that, I'm going to choose um, a Patricia Cornwell book the K of the K. Scarpetta series, and the character I'm choosing is Lucy, which is the main character's niece. Um, Lucy is absolutely a technical genius. She knows how to do everything techy and with gadgets and everything like that, but she's also very rich. If you own your own helicopter slash plane and you can fly anywhere in the world at a moment's notice, you're rich. So Lucy, my friend, you are rich. Question number four, a novel where the character has two identities. With this one I struggled because I don't think I've read a lot of these books, but I picked one I think kind of fits the category. For that, I have picked, what's her name? Grace from Ladies Night. In this story, it begins with um, introducing us to the character Grace and how she is a blogger, a lifestyle blogger who has thousands of followers and thousands of, um, what's it called, companies backing her and supporting her and her life seems perfect. She's, you know, engaged or no, she's married to the perfect guy and just everything in her life is perfect but then behind the scenes unbeknownst to her blog you know community is her husband cheats on her with her assistant and they end up breaking it off and she has to go home and live with her her mom and then she kind of has to redo her whole life she has to you know start a new blog and you know buy a new house and everything so basically she has the double life where everybody thinks she's perfect and has the perfect life and everything smooth and happy and but really her life is really falling apart with the infidelity and the divorce and the dirty tricks that her husband's playing so yeah question number five is a novel where the character has a conflict with his or her morals and values for this one I obviously chose Katniss from The Hunger Games. Um, really, I could choose any of the characters, I think, from The Hunger Games series. Um, I specifically chose Katniss because I think we get to know her character, obviously, a little bit better than some of the other ones. But in this one, she's sent to The Hunger Games, and obviously, basically, 
I don't think it's anybody's morals and values to go around killing people. But in this book, obviously, she's faced with that. So, Katniss, The Hunger Games series. Question number six. A novel with a character who can't hold onto a relationship or can't be in one for certain reasons. For that, I could choose either... Um, Jen or Cameron from Sweethearts by Sarah Zar. Jen is in a relationship with another guy when Cameron finally returns to town um, several years later. And even though they have like a super special connection, which is a little bit deeper than love, she can't seem to figure out, should I dump my boyfriend and just be with Cameron? Is it like that between Cameron and I? And for Cameron, obviously he goes there and Jen is in a relationship with someone else. And then he ends up moving off because he realizes, like, they can't... I guess he just realizes, like, their relationship is more than love. And that's a little too hard for them to understand at that young of an age, so... Question number seven... A novel with a sidekick. Um, for this book, I'm choosing, I don't have a lot of sidekick books, or I haven't read a lot of sidekick books. Um, so for this, I'm going to choose something I'm currently reading, and it's Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. And in this story, we follow Greg, and I guess his sidekick slash friend is Earl. So, yeah. Question number eight. Eight, a novel where the character doesn't want to reveal their true identity. I want to choose Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Another great book by her, in my opinion. And I chose this book because in the story, Lincoln is... Did my... I think my dog just bumped the camera. I'm sorry. Tear. Okay, in attachments Lincoln is working as um, he's hired on by a company to uh, filter through emails that anybody in the company sends uh, they're trying to cut back on the spam and the you know kind of basically not doing their work they work at like a newspaper or something like that and he is one of the people in charge of filtering through the emails checking the flagged messages things like that well he ends up kind of falling in love well he does end up falling in love with this girl Beth and but Beth and her friend Jennifer send um, personal emails back and forth all the time and he's reading them and then Beth kind of asks him like she sees him and stuff like that but she just assumes that he's like works in security but not like the email security or the computer security or whatever you want to call it so he hides his identity of who he really is and till like towards the end of the book but I don't want to spoil it because and then if I wanted extra points which I think I have failed this tag horribly to be honest a character who can't get out of a sticky situation I have no freaking idea like I said this tag is making me realize how few books I actually have and question number 10 a character who wants to kill someone but I can't and I did pick one for that yeah -ha. For that, I have chosen Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I read this book not that long ago, and actually, in a few days on my blog, I'm posting my review of the book. Um, in this book, Amy Gum gets summoned to Oz, much like Dorothy was, by a tornado, and her mission is to kill Dorothy. She actually has a couple missions here. It says it on the back of the book. It's remove the tin woodman's heart, steal the scarecrow's brain, take the lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. Um, of course, Oz has totally transformed from what you remember from The Wizard of Oz, and it's no longer bright, shiny yellow brick roads. It's a, it is a dystopian landscape, and I absolutely love this world. But Amy is there to kill Dorothy, and towards the end of this book, there is a huge battle going on between um, Amy and Dorothy and all of her henchmen, and in the first novel, at least, she was unable to kill Dorothy. Um, who knows what's going to happen later on in the series. There is the um, second novella, because it was a pre Quill novella that came out before this one um, that was titled um, No Place Like Oz, then this, Dorothy Must Die, then the second novella, um, I forget the title of it, I'll 
hopefully write it here for you, is going to be November 11th is the release of that. And then the second book in the series is coming out towards the end of March, maybe March 30th of 2015. And I'll put that title here as well. Um, that wraps up my Batman tag. I hope you enjoyed watching, even though it was a little bit of a fail tag for me. Um, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.